What's up friends of the good mood, this is Manny and welcome to the new Orochi robot giveaway. The brand new 7.0 robot Orochi, the absolute meta dominator right now. You'll get it right here together with 100 Sheriff Demeters too. And I'm also going to show you in the gameplay setups that I haven't shown you yet. I, I found out that Viper is extremely strong on the Orochi. I'm not even joking, the setup I'm running here... I'm gonna get beyond godlike and stuff because this is actually a very powerful setup. I'll be showing you the Exodus 2 uh, on it and then we're gonna figure out and show you the strongest setup of course in the game. Uh, which is a Devastator where I literally just walk through the enemy lines as if it was nothing, right? Uh, so a lot of really awesome gameplay coming in this video and of course it is a giveaway! Yes, there it is, it's back! What does it mean? 100 Orochis and 100 Sheriff Demeters is what it means for you guys and gals. And it also means that, first and foremost, if you want to participate in this giveaway and want to have a chance at winning this, then subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't yet done that, okay? Secondly, share this video away with everybody you know who might want to have a chance at winning this giveaway, okay? The more we get it around, uh, the better my argument and point for uh, better prices is uh, uh, with Pixonic, okay? So the more people we reach. Uh, subscribe, share, and then write a comment down in the comment section of this video, under this video, uh, with your player ID and your platform. Okay, and then of course, so, uh, if, you know, if you like the video, then also hit thumbs up on it, because that also gets it better around, and uh, that would be awesome. So, uh, as you see right here, we're in deep, deep, deep trouble with this thing, but I'm in godlike already. With, uh, with this thing, and now we have a, uh, um, an, um, a Loki right in front of us, and he notices that I can hit him. Because the Orochi is actually not a very high robot, not very large in size. You can actually hit a Loki in his stealth, despite your weapons being mounted on top of your robot. Uh, so, it's pretty interesting to see how strong uh, the Orochi is in many different situations. And Viper and Exodus is what you're seeing first, and then later we're jumping into the Devastator gameplay that clearly outperforms any other setup, but that we knew that was gonna happen. But what I didn't know is how insanely powerful Viper is. There's gonna be more situations where you'll see the Viper coming, um, and where I dominate the entire team with those Vipers on the Orochi. It's insane, guys. I had no idea Viper could be this powerful. I always thought it's a weak weapon. But man, it's not. It's really not. Stay tuned and you'll see what, what I mean about this. Alright, so um, yeah. Uh, make sure, subscribe, share, and then write the comment down under this video with your co with your ID and your platform. And um, and I'll be randomly assigning the um, the prizes. I assume that everybody wants to have a, a Rochi. And um, there's going to be 100 of those and 100... Uh, Sheriff Demeters. I'll be sharing those uh, randomly and uh, selecting randomly who gets, who gets what. Same as I randomly go and find uh, winners, okay? As I usually do. I'm usually very fair about this. I don't pay attention to what somebody really says. If he likes, likes or writes a really mean comment or a very nice comment. I don't really care about this. To me, it's the most important thing that I'm without without any preference here and just go in completely random and select people. That also means you could technically win twice in a row, but it also means you can very often not win um, in a row. So it's it's like a completely random thing, okay? Um, on one side that's good, on the other side it can be uh, frustrating, I know. But the win chance isn't very high, but at least it's a free one. So let's go and use it the best way we can and give out those Orochis and the Sheriff Demeters. Uh, in the meantime, I'm doing my best here with the uh, Exodus on the uh, Orochis. She also pretty powerful. The only problem is that the Exodus runs out of ammo eventually, and then you have really low DPS. Let's start with the Exodus this time. I'm gonna have a two-on-one on me right now. I'm gonna start in a two-on-one. So, um, and oh, by the way, I, I had the problem. I couldn't actually go and uh, fly at first. Um, so yeah, here we go. It's a scorpion jumping on me. That's why I can't capture the beacon, because he simply jumps on me. But I almost have the beacon. And look how quickly those Exodus drop him, but even despite his healing, I drop his entire robot down one and a half times to low health uh, with those Exodus. Those Exodus have a lot of firepower, but once they're empty, they're empty, and that's the problem, right? Once they're empty, this is when the firepower stops, and that's what I don't like about them. Um, the setup he's got in front of us here with the uh, Sonic weapons, uh, yo, it has much more firepower for a much longer duration. But I'm staying behind him here and dodging his suppression shots and just trying to get him down. So I nuked him down finally, 2 on 1-1, one, one, and I got my beacon, thankfully. 
And this is also the video where I'm gonna destroy everybody with Viper in just a moment. Um, one more important thing about the giveaway, ladies and gentlemen, it's always important for me to say this, okay? Um, I don't want you guys to write many comments and spam your ID and platform. You know this already. And uh, the other YouTubers and I, we have formed a coalition against those of you who do this. I'm serious, I'm not joking. We have started to gather and to gang up on you guys. If you start spamming IDs and platforms, we'll notice. Even if you do different YouTube accounts, it doesn't matter. Because remember, it's still gonna be the same ID of your U War of Us account that you're going to have to spam. We'll notice that. And we're gonna make sure you're added to the blacklist. And that's not one guy's blacklist, that's all our blacklist, okay? So if you wanna risk that, go ahead. Go right ahead, do this. But my advice, be fair, like everyone else does, write one comment, write two comments. Two comments are totally fine, okay? Nobody is gonna complain because you write, wrote two comments. But don't go crazier on that than that, okay? Be fair and just take it what it is as a small chance to win uh, that doesn't cost you anything, but could potentially give you a really cool price, all right? So, um, that is something I just had to say because uh, it's a new thing that the YouTubers, uh, we have all, uh, you know, we've all started uh, getting together on this because we're sick and tired of these people trying to get themselves an unfair advantage against others, uh, uh, you know, against those who are playing by the rules and playing fair. Uh, and so hopefully you can understand uh, that this is something I just had to say. Um, uh, but yeah, um, I think the majority of you guys are going to be happy about this because it means, uh, you know, it's fair. Fair and uh, the best same chance for everybody. Yeah, so uh, in the meantime now we have jumped into the actual strongest Orochi. Uh, that's the one that I even have myself on my account. I'm in a 3 or 4, 4 on 2 I would say. We were 2, they were 3 or 4. We already got one or two of them out of the way. Uh, and now it's those guys versus me and I cannot leave the beacon. I also cannot face shift. If I face shift here, what will happen is they will get the beacon. So I will have to stay without the face shift. There is no other choice. Right? This is something you have to keep in mind. The face shift at some point in update it was changed so that you can no longer capture beacons in phase shift, which is a which is a great idea and which is a great change. But it also means if you didn't know that or you you didn't have it in mind, you would essentially get yourself your you would allow the enemy to capture beacons because you phase shift in a time where they will capture when you do this. Uh, so here we have an inviter right in front of us, uh, and I have to again get onto the beacon. There's no other choice. In this case, I can phase shift because there is a hawk. The hawk is flying on the beacon range, so I know I can phase shift. So I'm phase shifting through his suppression jump, which I don't know somehow didn't trigger the suppression. Weird. Maybe it just didn't show up on screen. Uh, but you, you saw that, right? There was no suppression bubble coming up. I don't know, but uh, I was phase shifting anyway, so it wouldn't have hit me. And uh, so, Orochi again here with the Devastator. This is by far the strongest setup, uh, but in my opinion, the Exodus is incredibly powerful too, especially against fast enemies that are close to you that would otherwise run around you and make it hard to hit them. The Exodus has a splash damage, and with splash damage, you don't have to perfectly hit him. You have to just generally shoot in his direction, and if he's close to you, your rockets will splash next to him and hit him all the time, right? So that makes the uh, Exodus a really good setup against, uh, you know, quick robots that are trying to, uh, to run around you and stuff. Um, and of course, oh man, they capture the beacon. Was my buddy also uh, 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 face shifting at the same time there? Um, but yeah, so, um, and the Viper, uh, I, uh, did I just run the Viper on the previous, uh, round? I think I did, did I? Uh, anyways, uh, the Viper is extremely powerful, much more so than I thought it was gonna be. I thought the Viper is a weak weapon, uh, but it totally surprised me and I, I had no idea it was gonna be that powerful. Boom, Rampage, yeah, nice. And those sweet rockets that the Orochi fires are also pretty good. You also know the Demeter though, right? I don't have to show the Demeter here in this video. You know what it is. The Sheriff, Sheriff Demeter is the latest version with the best skin that has a 10% more increased health, health pool too. So you have more health than the normal Demeter will have. And um, yeah, on top of that, uh, you have uh, three medium weapons, a Aegis shield, or no, Absorber shield, sorry, and you can heal and t heal friends and teleport to them and such, right? So, super powerful robot. It's probably one of the most powerful robots in the game right now, especially if you're doing certain team play stuff. That Demeter is absolutely devastating. Hawk, uh, um, the combo out of Shell and Demeter is currently what's in the game 
among the most powerful things you can combine. Shell and Daymater, and it's like such a such a guaranteed success combo that is it's like <laughs> you don't really have to do much right in order to win with that. So yeah, um, it's basically a really good giveaway here, and uh, thankfully also the brand new Orochi is among the prizes. Um, so let's jump on to these guys here. I have let, shall, let me show you what I do to these poor guys now here with this thing I dropped him down to last stand the Demeter jumps on him, but he doesn't heal him fast enough I'm gonna take him out bum now. I'm in a three on one Okay, and I'm taking down the Demeter to last stand in the meantime I'm face shifting or a trying I try to stay alive I'm activating healing and resistance with my drone, and then I'm still taking out, despite me meanwhile, it's a four on one, and I'm still taking out that, um, that De Demeter right there. This is insane. I had almost the entire team on me right there, and I took down two robots, no problem. Those sonic weapons are completely nuts. Uh, but we already know that, right? We know that the sonic weapons are way too powerful at this point. And, uh, and they, they kind of need something to keep them a little more in line with the other weapons. Uh, but they're new, so I, I guess it's going to take a little while before they receive a bit of a nerf. I think a minus 10% or something would be appropriate here, in my opinion. Um, somewhere, minus 10% recharging rate or minus 10% damage, something like this. I think it would, it would do the game good to, uh, to see uh, something like that. So, uh, we have overdrive activated. Look how fast this guy goes down. Pop, 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 and he's done, right? That was a full blitz robot, and he's gone in seconds. Here's a hawk. I'm gonna wait for him to drop down. And bam, 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 bam. Bye bye, hawky boy. And uh, again, I'm really just running through the entire enemy team here, as it was nothing. Godlike already, yeah. Yeah, why not? It's a Orochi with the devastators. That is so devastating. Uh oh, this guy, however, that's a problem. He's got the legendary pilot on the Aochun. Uh, 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 what was his name? Um, yeah, he's got the legendary pilot that gives him stealth when he flies, his ability. Uh, so, uh, that is pretty powerful. I gotta be careful about this. Oh my god, between me, I'm, I'm behind me, in front of me, everywhere are enemies. Ares here, Blitz there, everywhere, everyone is, uh, is right next to me here. So, face shifting. Uh, that was a bad face shift, by the way. I'm face shifting, living legend! I'm face shifting through my own stealth. How stupid was that? <laughs> Manny, what was you thinking there? What was your thinking? That was not a good idea. But yeah, so this is it, ladies and gents. That was the Orochi uh, giveaway video. Stay tuned for more videos on the channel and giveaways, of course. Uh, next month will be another one, and I'm hoping that I can give you another uh, super new stuff next time. Um, we'll see each other in the next video. Don't forget, uh, subscribe, share, and then your comment with ID and platform. See you in the next video. Money signing off. Bye-bye.